Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me as we go check on a customer system. He just wanted me to check it before summer gets here. And here we basically have like nine months of summer. So he just wanted me to check it out and make sure this newer system is still doing good. So come along, let's take a ride. I remember it because I had problems with the, it needed makeup air. And naturally the way it's set up, it didn't have enough. I'll try to show you. It would run fine with the panels off, but as soon as I put the panel on, it would lose pressure and the switch would open. So, um, y'all see that hole down here? I had to pull a plug out of that just to get the thing to run. And since I've done that, it's run fine. This one has a rotary compressor in it. which means it ought to be quieter. Let me see, I got, I need a water hose. Looks like there's one right there. About eight, nine months ago, 
Yeah. Yeah, we have to replace all of it. Seems like I remember you having a problem with a line that went over uh -huh. there. Uh-huh, exactly. I got them to take that completely up. Now what they did, water and gas, this wasn't here when you came. Yeah, that wasn't there. Right, right. It, it, it's running up under the, under the house now. Well, if it's off the ground, it'll be better off. Right, exactly. exactly. Uh, 2021, what I really meant. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 2020 or 2021. Which one of them? I think it was 2020, though. Would have been doing great. Well, that's good. I had no problem with it, but... In the maintenance, you can't beat that though. What was that now? I said, pretending maintenance, you can't beat that. That's good to do that every year. You would do it every year, probably. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt. All that stuff you blew or not, that could have been that could have really problem. It'd just make it run less efficiently. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. working in a swamp. that came out. Fan blades look pretty good. And I may have to take the top off to get that evaporator cool.
Yes, sir. I'm riding on the bike if you want me now. All right. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to need to check pressures and amp draws. Look at this itty bitty dryer right here. That's tiny. There's my boy. All right, come on. Come on, field piece. took long enough. So far it looks good. I'm going to let it run for a little bit longer. It is 71 degrees inside and 73 out here. No power. I'm just wanting to check this capacitor right here. It looks like wire coming off. My contactor's going to be red.
Oh, that was just barely on there. All right, let's do the 40. 39.18 and 5. 4.97. Plus or minus 5%. 39.16. Check real quick. Let me see. 40. 38. So it's still within range. Let's see if we can mount this where that number is sticking out. power. I hope you enjoyed that little video. As you can see, I have been painting. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in the next one.